Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bull Central. So here's the thing. Got a few more complaints about uh, me melted meat emoji head Jeff. So here's the deal. I put some skin back on melted meat emoji head Jeff. And this is what we're left with. And this is what it's going to be, okay? I'm not going to keep looking for heads. I'm not going to keep hearing the uh, the old chestnut. Just use your voice. Just use your voice. If I wanted to use my voice and not look at myself, uh, you know, I wouldn't have mirrors. I wouldn't have a ki I wouldn't have a YouTube channel if I didn't want to stare at my gorgeous face. I mean, look at me. Look at me. See that? See how? Anyways. I'm downloading Destiny right now. Destiny 2. I'm hoping to play it with my wife. She's, she's downloading it on her console. It's free to play. Now, I noticed that when I went into the Destiny 2 uh, storefront page, uh, there on Xbox Live, right? I couldn't help but notice that the ranking had tanked completely because people were feeling good and goddamn ripped off by good old Destiny 2 because you know what? And, and I check this out. I bought Destiny 2 uh, on PlayStation 4 when it originally came out. And uh, had I bought it on Xbox, which I didn't at that time, I suppose I would feel uh, ripped off too. Destiny 2 is now free to play. Now, that begs the question, has free to play, the free to play model, ruined uh, what we would call modern gaming? You know, I don't even have a neck half the time. What's going on here? Woo! Damn. <sighs> And I gotta tell you that, uh, in a way, I think that free-to-play really has done a disservice to the industry, the gaming industry, the gamers, the gamers amongst us. Uh, and, you know, in the, to my mind, free-to-play kind of develops from the um, mobile space, right? You know, microtransactions, free-to-play, loot boxes, all that crap. It's all this intent to earn additional money on top of uh, what you might already pay for the game. Now, Destiny 2, totally free to play now. Understandable. I can play that for free. But how much fun am I going to have with, with it until I, need, until I need to put money down? And I don't just mean Destiny, because I know specifically Destiny will have its own story in that regard. And I can dig that. I can dig that. But mostly, I mean, how much fun can we really have unless we have a full product, you know? Uh, a full game sitting in our lap. How much fun can we actually have if we've got to keep sinking in money after money after money? And I understand that from, from the perspective of the gaming industry, it's a big deal to keep revenue coming. You know what I mean? Just to keep that revenue stream alive and active so that we can keep hiring personnel, so that we can keep making the experiences that you demand, gaming people. <laughs> it's frightening. I'm so sorry, you guys. This isn't any better. And I totally see it from that perspective. However, however, I think that we need to go back to the traditional, you know what? whatever's in the package, whatever's in the game, when it comes out, that's the end of the story. If there's going to be additional content later on, that's totally cool, but I want to be able to play my game from start to finish without additional money, <laughs> even if it's free to play because I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned that way. Maybe I'm just craving the days where you know, reliably so, you could plunk down. I mean, what am I even talking about? Those days aren't gone. Uh, it's all this skin. It's getting to me. I need to rip it off, maybe. It sounded weird. Until next time, everybody, this is Jeff Bull Central and the Nerd Rand creeping you out.